Yo, what's good? Sanbonani, it's your boy now. Hashtag Gafuigo. Welcome to my 2020 documentary, The Story to Glory. You know what it is, you know the vibes. You know, so, my name is Tapio Roshepa Zita. I was born and raised in Gumazi. That's the thing. I'm, I'm a hip hop artist, fashion minister. If I can put everything in my game, I'm going to put it Yo, I knew I was the greatest when I touched the mic for the first time back in 2013. My nigga, I was at my zone before I was 14. I met Dr. Kamalo and I got them shaking in the middle of the park. My back is weighing 15. I go shoot straight to your cardiac with the 16. Doobie, that's the movement it isolated back in 2017. It's, the, it's October the 18th and the boy is turning 19. Hey man, goddamn, I've been bringing changes in the hood right now. It's only I'm getting paid for the art. It's 2020, bitch. Yo, how I started is crazy, dog, because I was into more poetry, like I was in poetry world, I was more into like my angel and Shakespeare type of stuff. My life changed uh, when I had like Kanye West bit of verse for the first time. This was on a song called Knock It Down by Kelly Rowling. I was like, damn, this nigga is doing exactly what I'm doing, but he's just doing it in a more creative and entertaining way. That's when I went back to the creative and started like doing more reading and music. I was really doing like my solo stuff, but I was not happy. I was kind of, I can say, I was doing it to do myself. Seventeen, it's like Kizzy, Delaney, Kelly 45, Swing and Cutter. Because Cutter was not rapping at the same time. The game just came up, like, it came up with, we started doing like more of like our sweat and stuff. And then Kizzy put up with Elite, my people, but like, this kid rap, I was like, oh, he raps, let me hear this to the verse. I was like, you know, I thought we can't just hit the studio. He did the studio, made the song called Loose. Oh, Loose, yeah, Loose, Loose. Loose changed my life, though, because when I recorded that song, it was just like a one take, and then we dropped it, and then the Hong Kongers went nuts. So. I started being famous in high school. We go around like Pumas, we perform at we we'll perform at like tiny shows, taverns for free. We we'll do it for free because we're just like a young person. And I was like, okay, this is really. That's a